I want to highlight some incredible work that a number of people are doing, creating a magazine where you can actually submit AI stories and actually get paid to write them. Let's get into it. So this magazine here is called Mithulu, Mithulu Magazine, and they've been around for a little while, but they're just starting to do this special AI special issue, which I think is absolutely incredible and totally warranted a entire video about it just to make sure everyone knows about it. Uh, right here, I will link to this page down below. This is where you can pre-order the issue. You can come down here to choose whether you want it as a digital PDF or if you want a physical copy and a digital PDF. I will probably be getting the physical copy just because this is kind of a cool thing. And I actually really hope that the editors take note because I think this sort of thing is going to be very popular. I hope the editors maybe have like some kind of spin-off magazine or something that they do where it's only AI stuff. But the cool thing about Mithulu magazine is that they actually pay pro rates, which means that you get paid a professional amount of money, which in this case is eight cents per word for any of the submissions that they accept and put in their magazine. Obviously, there's no guarantee that your submission will be selected, but that's the case with any magazine that you submit to. This is the page, and I will also link to this page down below where you can actually submit your work. As I mentioned, it's eight cents per word as the base pay, plus the ability to boost earnings with your contributor exclusive affiliate program, meaning that if you get accepted, you also get an affiliate program for the magazine so that you can share it and get commissions from people that buy your stuff. They also accept AI art and that pays $10 per page. If you do comics, that's $45 per page. And down here, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see more information about the AI special issue. So they're seeking AI assisted stories and comics, any genre. And the guidelines is that it must be AI assisted, but it doesn't have to be fully written with AI. So if you don't like to write with AI and you're just using it for ideas and stuff like that, that's fine. They are going to ask that you fill out this little chart here to show in what ways you are using AI. So you have like ideas, research, and you can fill it out like this. Um, you know, if you're only using AI for part of the writing, you could fill it out halfway like this, things like that. The length of each submission needs to be between 500 and 2,800 words. So these are really short stories. It should be one submission, et cetera, et cetera. And there are guidelines on comics and nonfiction because they do a couple of nonfiction articles as well, uh, art and so forth. So I'll look, link to this page down below so you can get all of the details. But I highly encourage anybody who watches this to make this the opportunity to actually start writing a short story and submit it. And even if you don't want to do that, I highly encourage you to go and pre-order this magazine issue because I think it's going to be a very important landmark issue for other magazines like this. Ones that are actually paying their creators and having a professional editorial guidelines as well as professional editors actually going through and vetting all of the stories that come through. And I actually know the editor-in-chief. She posted about this in the AI Writing for Authors group about her first impressions on all of the AI submissions that were coming in. And there were a couple of tidbits that I really wanted to highlight here that I thought were absolutely fascinating and a good indicator of where the storytelling industry is going. She said, first impressions of her AI assisted slush pile. This is three days in. The average quality per submission has significantly improved over the average pure human submission for past issues. This I thought was fascinating, meaning that if you are a writer, but you're only an average writer, AI can actually do better. You need to actually really get experience and hone that skill in order to actually be able to outperform AI. That might be kind of scary for a lot of people, uh, but it is certainly a, simply a truth that I think we need to get our heads around. She clarifies, she says, specifically the stories are more coherent. At a glance, I can tell which sentences lean too much on AI and should have been edited harder but no one struggles to string sentences together anymore. The average peaks of best prose slash story moments are better, stronger, and sometimes breathtaking. It's a better slush reading experience than I've had in the past. But here's the interesting thing. One thing has not changed, average conceptual quality. 
AI assisted or not, all writers are in charge of the final camera angles, the reader's eye. Every millisecond of reader attention is in your hands. Authors who already mastered the skill of curating vast possibilities into meaningful moments have the ultimate edge. Have something meaningful to say? Understand the depth of detail needed. Knowing how to cut everything that is not the story is still critical. Authors with this one skill will still dominate in this AI-assisted slush pile, as they have in the past. It's a rare skill. It's almost always the defining trait of stories we publish versus decline. That's a, a really cool statement right there. So interestingly enough, the raw competitiveness of each person's writing has not changed in my opinion. The difference is that authors willing to bounce work off an AI now have a stronger story skeletons to hang their hearts work on. We all have weaknesses and wherever you are weak, it gives the art a lift. And that I think is a beautiful way of describing how AI writing should work. It should give you a lift in those areas where you are weakest, but clearly there are some skills that are a little bit more subtle that experienced writers have that AI simply cannot help you with, like this average conceptual quality and the skill of curating vast possibilities into meaningful moments. Storytelling is not just about throwing a lot of stuff that happened at the reader. It's about, as she says, curating little important moments that are the most important moments for that story. So as you're going through and making your submissions to the magazine, I would encourage you to actually spend some time on the concept and really dialing in what scenes should make it into your story and which shouldn't. What scenes are actually important to tell a meaningful story. And if you wanna know more about storytelling, my membership is open right now and this is one of the things that we're covering. I just recently released a comprehensive 40 chapter outline to those people and we're getting ready to really dive deep into some storytelling principles that people who follow this channel really should know. So go ahead and check that out down below and I'll see you in the next video.